Good morning, Greenlight Today family. I hope uh, that you're experiencing many in your life. Um, I am still reading the book, The Art of Being, 100 Ways to Practice Purpose in Your Life by Dennis Merritt Jones. Um, it has 101 ways and I'm on number 19. But it really resonates with me because it reminds me of something that my grandmother used to say. Um, she always used to say, you know, guard the temple. And I think a lot of us remember the, the phrase, or we hear it quite a bit, how your body is your temple, how it's so valuable. And I think we know that our inner resources are so valuable compared to the outer resources and that we need to, to be mindful or conscious of our amazing inner value. And we also hear the phrase a lot, you know, well, don't let your guard down. But the question is, what are we guarding? And I think that's the phrase standing guard at the temple is so very important because to guard your temple, to guard your most valuable resource, your soul, your consciousness is so very, very important, but we don't really talk about it, you know, a lot. And that's why I appreciate this. It starts off with a quote by Dr. James Golden, which says, most of us give ourselves permission to think many things we don't really believe. Well, how does that happen? And I think it happens because we are so bombarded by messages that are not our own. We are surrounded by people who don't have the well-being, not only of themselves, but of others, of the community, of the planet. And so we internalize these messages and we allow the thoughts to run the show. Sort of like the Buddhist um, example of a monkey on a wheel. Our mind just keeps going round and round and round. And I really appreciate this because, you know, a lot of times I think people want to stop their thoughts. That's not the point. The point is to be aware of your thoughts. Be aware how it's affecting your consciousness um, and your purpose and intention, even on a daily basis. Uh, I like the example that he gives of, you know, you know, we need to give ourselves permissions to think up rather than down. Because so many times we think down before we think up. And we could just like flip that script and start up. And and having this awareness that brings a freedom. Can you imagine, you know, we hear all the time, you are not your thoughts. But the freedom that comes from, you know, like I'm just visualizing these thoughts going past my mind and they don't belong to me. I don't know who they belong to, I don't know how they got there, but I'm guarding my temple, I'm guarding my sacred treasure, and I'm not going to allow these thoughts to take root. Um, I always think about something he said too, that the large part of our spirit, when we observe how we choose to conduct our lives, we wait patiently to awaken to our presence. When we do awaken to that presence, we automatically begin to think up. So here is the green light in your day and taking the opportunity just to let those thoughts just go by. Don't let them enter your precious temple and to continue thinking up. Have a great day.